In our world of human and human activities, one of the fundamental things about our coexistence are laws and regulations to guide our behavior and the way we relate with ourselves. Do you know that this same applies to chemical reactions? There are laws that guide chemical reactions between substances. These laws are made out of observations by scientists and can aid our understanding of how gases react with one another and calculations based on these reactions. One of these laws is known as Gay-Lussac's law and it states that when gases react, they do so in volumes which are in simple ratios to one another and the volume of the product if gaseous provided that temperature and pressure remain constant. Let's break this law down in three statements. Gases react in volumes. A synonym of this is to say that water is measured in volume, e.g. centimeter cube, dm cube, mass in kilogram. The volume of the gases reacting are in all numbers ratio with one another and with the product of the reaction if the product formed is also in gaseous state. Let's use an example of how steam, which is water in gaseous state, is produced. It is formed when two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecule of oxygen to produce two molecules of steam. This reaction takes place in volume, which means that the volume of two molecules of hydrogen, the volume of one molecule of oxygen react together, and the volume of two molecules of steam, which is the product, are in ratio, which will be in ratio 2, ratio 1, ratio 2. Temperature and pressure must be constant. So, this law can be applied in calculating the volume of reacting gases. For example, to calculate the volume of oxygen required to burn 500 centimeter cube of methane completely. Both are gases, and the first rule to calculate is to write a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Why? One of the importance is to see the number of molecules of each reactor at a glance, which is equivalent to the reacting volume. We have two CH4 gas, plus 3O2 gas gives us 2 CO2 gas plus 2 H2O gas. So, by Gay-Lussac's law, two volumes of methane require one volume of oxygen for complete combustion. Therefore, two centimeter cube of methane requires three centimeter cube of oxygen for complete combustion. But note that from the question, we were given 500 centimeter cube. So let the volumes of oxygen that we burn 500 centimeter cube of methane be X centimeter cube. So, reacting volume equals given volume. That is, 2 cm cube of methane gives us 500 cm cube. 3 cm cube of oxygen gives us x cm cube. So, by cross multiplying, x equals 500 times 3 divided by 2. And that is 750 cm cube. So, reacting volume equals given volume. That is, 2 cm cube of methane equals 500 centimeter cube, 3 centimeter cube of oxygen equals x centimeter cube. By multiplying both sides, x equals 500 times 3 divided by 2, and that is 750 centimeter cube. So, Gay-Lussac's law of combining volumes has guided us to understand how gases react and how to calculate the volume of reacting gases in simple ratios. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this class.